So big disappointment for Malaysia in the men's doubles, but maybe a quick pick me up because it's Lee Chong Wei, the world number one from Malaysia, in action now against the first ever Guatemalan to reach a quarter final in the World Championships, the giant killer, Kevin Corden. Well, I'm delighted to say joining me uh, in the commentary box now is former world number one in the men's for a number of years, Mr. Bambington himself, Morton Frost. Morton, very good morning. Thank you. Morning to you too. Well, Lee Chong Wei was absolutely fantastic yesterday against Park Sun Kwan. It was an annihilation. Yes. Um, maybe uh, facing a, a grittier character today in Kevin Gordon. Yes, he certainly does. Um, Kevin has played, as, as you said, a fantastic tournament. Really, really play well. And he deserves, really deserves, I think, to be in this quarterfinal. Um, I do, though, however, <laughs> have my doubts. Reality <laughs> check time, is it, Morton? Yes, it is. I cannot see in any area where Kevin can hurt Lee Chung Wei. Well, look at that. World ranking one. Career loss, very, very good. 2011 record, well, nearly exemplary. Just one defeat, and that was uh, all the way back in January as well. He's won 41 of his 42 matches, but 26 of them in a row. Yep. And uh, well, it would be a huge upset, wouldn't it, if he was uh, to exit at the quarterfinal stage here? You see, what, what uh, Kevin has been really good uh, doing this in this tournament, I think, is it his attack. His, uh, his smashes has really been really good penetrating uh, the other's defence. But Lee Chung Wei has got such a solid defence. Well, start of the week at 36 in the world. Now at 34, the uh, rankings come out every Thursday. Every chance, I think, after his win last night that he could be up to uh, top 20 in the world. Kevin he he could be jumping, yes. He could. It all depends on uh, uh, what, it's your 10 best result that counts. So it's what you throw away and what you, you know, replace it with. Well, uh, he lost in the first round of the World Championships last year, and it happened to be against a certain Lee Chong Wei. Oh, did it? Yes. <laughs> uh, time for revenge. Well, he's uh, thoroughly entertained us. He's already beaten the number five seed, and he's shown that he's, uh, you know, possible of knocking the best out. But uh, he's going to have to knock out the very best here. Here's our umpire. And it's uh, Andrea Chiappini of Italy. And it's Long Hu Hu of China, who is the service shop. And it's always entertaining to watch Lee Chong Wei, isn't it? Kevin Corden certainly entertained us so far. So lots to look forward to here in this men's singles quarter-final. Well, he's been super careful all week, hasn't he, Kevin Gordon? He's beaten the number five C Chen Long and certainly made the headlines on day one. He was terrific against Henrik Eskainen of Sweden last night, a real thriller against his training partner, Pablo Abian of Spain. First Guatemalan into the quarterfinals, but does the dream end here? Because, well, as much as a shock as it was in round one, this would be a huge shock if Lee Chong Wei was to exit at the quarterfinals again, as he did last year, of course, when he lost to Taufik Hidiat. Yeah, but I, you know, in all honesty, I, I can't see it. Uh, I think we're going to have a uh, terrific match. I think we're going to have good fun. It's going to be great to watch. I just cannot see that Kevin can win. And what about Kevin Corden last night? Three set thriller. Lee Chung Wei was off the court as, almost as quick as he In came on minutes. it. So <laughs> he's well rested. Kevin's, you know, going to be feeling tired, isn't he still? Yeah, but I think he's going to enjoy it so much. The fact of being here in the quarterfinal, he will enjoy so much. That will give him energy. Ladies he will enjoy it. He will play right, as best as he can. Lee Chung Wei, Malaysia. <laughs> And on my left, Kevin Kondo, Guatemala. Kevin Kondo to serve. 
Low ball. Play. Well, as far as Malaysia is concerned, then it's all down to Lee Chong Wei for that elusive gold medal. But Kevin Corden isn't here just to make up the numbers. One love. He said it last night he can't go into this match thinking he can't win. Nope. But that's that's so true. Even as I say, even if he's the only one in the whole world that believes he can win, he must believe he can win. Please. That's what we've seen. That's yeah. what we've seen. That's what he's really good at. Two love. Well, the crowd are going to be right behind him as well. After all, he was named after an Englishman, Kevin Keegan. OK, former England football captain. But Lee Chong Wei is such a popular player as well, isn't he, he wherever is. he is? He is. And there will be lots of Malaysians here as well supporting him. Great start from Kevin Gordon. Just clipped the net and sure took it out. First point then for the world number one. One, three. Out. Two, three. Three, four. Status quo kind of restored after that three point start for Kevin Gordon. Just down. Bad luck. That's bad luck. That's really well played. He's going for the lines, no doubt. to even try and get that back. <laughs> yeah, it's foregone conclusion, this one here. Uh, you see, he just follows his shots. That's what I'm saying all the time to my players. Follow your shot, follow your shot. If it's a good shot, you always follow your shot. Is there any weakness at all that Kevin Corden can exploit here, or is it just try and play as best as you can? I, th I think he's doing <laughs> really well. Go for the lines. Just go for the shots. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Terrific touch from Lee John Wayne. Six, four. Seven of the last eight points, Lee Chong Wei. Out! Eight, four. The pressure is on. Kevin knows he's got to play good shots the whole time. And uh, it makes him miss uh, quite a lot. He has to find a, a really good balance between going for the lines but still have Nine the self confidence to to play badminton as well. So it's, it's a very, very fine balance he's going to find. Yeah, because he's been playing the badminton of his life, but mm. suddenly he's finding a, an opponent here, obviously, yeah. who's who's not going to allow him through the door Ten that easily. No, 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 he's got to fight for every every single point. That early hope has quickly disappeared, hasn't it? 11 out of 12 points for Lee Chong Wei, and at the interval, it's a very healthy lead for the world number one. Only Lin Dan in Korea in January has beaten him in 2011. Just four minutes it's taken Lee Chong Wei. He seems to be in a hurry this week. <laughs> Gotta catch a plane on Monday. <laughs> 
if you looked at the venue, he caught the bus to get in it. <laughs> yes, that's true. Kevin Corden with his uh, coach this week, Pedro Young, the only other Guatemalan to have qualified for the Olympics. For one, 20 seconds. For one, 20 seconds. Corden was the flag bearer at the Beijing Olympics, only one of 12 Guatemalans who was at the 2008 Olympics. Eleven four. Play. That's it. Thanks, Kevin. Perhaps uh, Kevin has been a little bit over anxious to play his. It's good shots uh, so far. Chang Wei is not really trying to hurt him. So just, you know, play with him, still play good solid shots, but play with him. And then when opportunity is there, go for the bigger ones, go for the lines. The draw set up and everything. It's, it's all set up for a Lee Chong Wei Lin Dan final as it was at the All England. That's most likely. That's the most likely uh, final. Um, I think they, both of them have played really good badminton this week, and I think that uh, chances are that they will, they will play the final on Sunday. Especially the big Lee Chong Wei is. Play. I mean, yesterday, I say, he just brushed apart you know, side Park yeah. so ruthlessly, and he's being equally as ruthless here, isn't he? Yes, and Park is a very good player, and what did he get, 10 and 5, something like that? Yeah, it was uh, an comprehensive victory. Yeah. It's exhibition. Yeah, that the that thing is, Chen Ch Wei can, can score points whenever he likes. You know, when he put on the pressure, he put on the pace, Creating his chances for attack, he, he can he can play winners every single time. 252, the smash there from Lee Chong Wei. The precision as much as the power. And, well, he's got the attitude of let's get this one five. done as quick as we can, which is a shame for Kevin Corden in some respect because he's so thrilled us this week. To if he was to exit very sharply, it would be a, a shame in some respect. Keep producing those, isn't it? Teddy Silva. Six sixteen. Teddy Silva. Seventeen six. Defensive and look at all the 18, angles Chong Wei is playing the whole lot. That one first, that one, then the attack, then cross again. It's so quick and so sharp. And there's nothing you can do to stop it, is there? Nothing, just don't fall for attacking him. <laughs> you, you have to keep you can't have to keep balance the whole time when you play him. As soon as you're slightly out of balance, he's going to exploit it. 96. Game points, and it's not even 10 minutes on the clock yet. 20, game point, six. Well, 
huge anticipation for Kevin Corden. Quarter final against the world number one. And he wants Ten to get into this match. Started it well enough, didn't 20. he? The opening game then to Lee Chong Wei, and it's probably as comfortable as set that we'll see in the quarterfinal stages here today. It was a comprehensive display of hard hitting, angled, skillful shots. And he's breezing through to the semis, Lee Chong Wei, 21 7, the scoreline. And the two Malaysian coaches, uh, the one who's talking is Pak, and the, oh, now the other one, the blue one, is Rashid Sidek. It's also one of the uh, former very, very good Malaysian players, world number one at one stage, I'm sure. And very hard to beat in Kuala Lumpur, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think he won the Malaysian Open five years uh, in a row, something like that. with the way he is performing so far here yet to drop a game in what is now three and a half matches and uh, you wouldn't bet against him getting this done in another 10 minutes here of course I mean, he needs no reminding Lee Chong Wei hasn't won the world championships before not won Olympic or uh, as he had titles either the big For ones 20 seconds. But, uh, it's a determined look that maybe that might change come this Sunday here in Wembley Arena. Yeah, there's no doubt in my book that uh, Chong Wei is, uh, is my favourite to win this week, to win in a year's time as well. Well, given the, the form he's in right Second now, game. I think he is getting better Level. and better and better. Play. And uh, I think he's getting mentally stronger, which is possibly where he was suffering a little bit when he was younger. And he seems to be relishing playing for the very first time in Wembley. It's a, an arena you love playing in, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I, I think I played here 17 or 18 years in a row. And uh, yeah, got to eight finals, won the four. It was, uh, it's a fantastic place. The spectators here really supporting me, it was great. I suppose at least Malaysia's badminton fans weren't down in the dumps for too long, given the way Ku and Tam went out in the in the men's doubles. Yeah, but, uh, men's doubles is uh, is tough. Uh, I think there are six, seven, eight pairs that can win easily, and uh, the Malaysian pairs. One of them, they did not have one of the best days, and out they go. But in the men's singles, I I, I still think that uh, not any disrespect to any. Other Five players, but I, I think that Chong Wei and Lin Dan are, are outstanding in the men's singles. Yeah, a lot of seeds went out in this uh, quarter of the draw. I mentioned Tao for Kitty out earlier. He went out, Mark Zwiebler went out. Of course, uh, Chen Long, who Kevin Corden knocked out. Silva, 6-1. So no change in this second game to what we saw in the first. That's good. That's uh... well, that's, that's what I feel is that uh, Two, Kevin has to find that really fine balance between playing good solid shots and not taking too many risks. But when chances are there, he's, he's got to, to make an impact. See, that's what I mean. You know, play, play, give him the chance, play with him, wait for his chances. And the crowd are desperate for him to, to do well, six. to win some more points and just make it a little closer. You know, as great a player as Lee Chong Wei, you know, people want to see him tested, don't they? <laughs> they he did. must have had that more than you were winning, you know, yeah. win after win after win. You know, the crowd are going to yeah. support just the underdog. Good matches, good, good badminton. 
and obviously some are having their favorites but i think Four, most six. most people here come to to watch good badminton Nice timely run of four points in a row for Kevin Corden. Best spell of the match for him since those uh, opening three points he took. Six oh. Yeah, Lee Chong Wei is going to have to wait a little longer for his lunch. Seven six. Seven seven. Brief respite, or is it the start of a real match? That was going out. It's up towards the uh, lights. Yeah, it's a it's a simple mistake. It's got plenty of time to play the shot. Obviously, he wants to play a sharp one, but again, it's a, it's a bit of a simple mistake for, for this thing. I can't understand it. Has he upped his level here, or has Lee Chong Wei slacked off a little bit? What, what's causing the, the turnaround? Um, I think Lee Chong Wei is, is expecting uh, to be given the match, and uh, suddenly. Uh, Kevin is fighting back. Tell so. Nine all. So he, Zhang Wei will probably off the pace a bit and, and finish business. for the Chong Wei. Seven events, seven finals this year, six titles. It's out. 11-9, So there you are at the interval. It's uh, another pretty comfortable lead for Li Chong Wei. Hans Christian Wittinghus saw Chen Jin in the semi final. Based on past performance, it will be Chen Jin from China. It could be a good match. Uh, when uh, Wittinghus and Chen Jin met last time, it was in Singapore, and Wittinghus managed to win the first set, but lost quite comfortably in the second and the third. They're on later tonight, aren't they, those two? Lee Chong Wei will be watching. Assuming, of course, he makes it into the uh, semis, which I think uh, looks a very likely scenario. 11 9. Play. Oh. Out. Out by a mile. 
But there's some satisfaction, well, isn't there, nine. for everyone, I think, that there is a Guatemalan flag there on the graphic on the screen in a quarterfinals of a world fantastic, championship. Fantastic. But this is this is what it's all about. More and more nations coming in, 13, having nine. good players, and it's uh, it's becoming a, a real battle and also taking outside Asia. I think it's really important. Well, he's uh, helped. Again. He's uh, been helped, Kevin, by training the last five months with the Spanish team. His matchup last night with Pablo Abiam was so special. And he's hitting some great shots here at the moment. Lee Chong Wei coming back with them all, and that's in. Well, Lee Chong Wei had a really good view of it. He is disagreeing here. He's convinced this went out. We can't see. It not possible to see from this angle. We'll now see from we this one. See. He was right, he Lee John Wei. No wonder he was convinced. He was right. Yeah. It's close, but it's out. Having a word with the uh, umpire Andrea Chiappini. I suppose Ten it's tough when 30. you know you're right. But it, it happens. It's, it's, it's such a fast game, and wherever we, we play tournaments around the world, it happens. Yeah. And, and players seven. just have to accept it. And I think 14, the overall result, I think, is pretty 50 50. You get some, you lose some. And I suppose when you're one set up and you're three points ahead, if it's going to happen now, it's yeah. not a bad time for it to happen. Exactly. That's what 15, I was, I was thinking. A superstar in World Badminton. He's massive in Malaysia. He is the number one name. That one was good. 11-15. Yep, way in. No debate about that one. Yep. John Wei did not say anything at all. done but superbly yeah. executed yes. yes. 16 very 11. Sharp. he's getting it so early he's got all options everything is open for him 17 11 and as you suggested Morton just up the tempo again here Lee Chong Wei yeah and Kevin is having too much respect when it comes to the crunch there's too much respect Thirty silver, in some ways Kevin Corden won his final last night here in Wembley. Lee Chong Wei will be hoping his is to come. Match point 13. It's match points for the number one seed. Game. It was comprehensive. It was a masterclass from Lee Chong Wei, but this championship will remember Kevin Corden's contribution. He has been absolutely superb. 
from the very first day when he knocked out the number five seat, Chen Long. But Lee Chong Wei strides through once again in straight games. The number one seed safely through to the semis, 21-7, 21-13. Good, Morton. Yes, he is looking really good. Um, as I said, I've said it many times before, he is my favourite. I believe he can win. Well, no one's yet been able to test him. Everything has been over in double quick time for Lee Chong Wei. Who can stop him? Well, up next against him is either Hans Christian Wittinghaus or Chen Jin, who meet later on on this court, the number six seed up against the Dane. But Lee Chong Wei, I don't think we'll fear anyone. 